Rudolf Heltmeyer is a composer. This gas pedal is one of his instruments. When fully depressed, it sounds like this. These are elements of the Audi R8 e-tron sound, currently available in studios only. We had to convince a lot of people that we have to develop uh, something completely new. Helpmeyer creates the sound of the future for Audi in the lab. He is currently working on the Audi R8 e-tron supercar. Without sound, the Audi R8 e-tron would sound like this. Nothing. Just tire and wind noises. What follows is pioneer work made by Audi. We started uh, developing uh, the first sound uh, steps uh, three, four years ago. Um, the problem is you don't have any tool you can buy on the market. You have to develop the hardware, you have to develop the, the software, and you have to find a great sound for the car. Um, and this took us uh, more than, than three years. Audi acoustics engineers have meanwhile succeeded in giving the R8 e-tron a sound that clearly identifies it as an electronic vehicle, while at the same time underscoring its sporty character. This is what the Audi R8 e-tron sounds like on the road. We had to convince a lot of people that we have to develop uh, something completely new. We started uh, developing uh, the first sound uh, steps uh, three, four years ago. Um, the problem is you don't have any tool you can buy on the market. You have to develop the hardware, you have to develop the, the software, and you have to find a great sound for the car. Um, and this took us uh, more than, than three years. Der erste Schritt war mit Sicherheit ein Gefühl dafür zu bekommen, was Elektrosound sein kann und sein wird und sein muss. Das heißt, als erstes mal zu verstehen, was muss es sein und wie muss es sein, wer muss es wie empfinden. Es ist nicht nur wichtig, wie Passanten im Straßenverkehr es empfinden, der Fahrer selber muss eine Empfindung für das Fahrzeug bekommen. Welche Empfindung das sein kann, ist bei einem Supersportwagen nicht sehr schwer zu erraten. Das Ganze so zu platzieren, dass es eben nicht wie ein Supersportwagen klingt, sondern eben wie ein futuristischeres Fahrzeug, das eben 
vom Akustischen die Tür in die Zukunft aufstoßen kann und uns zeigen kann, dass sowas auch noch anders klingen kann. Ich bin sicher, dass der Sound bei manchen Fahrzeugen die Kaufentscheidung beeinflusst, besonders bei Fahrzeugen, die einen guten Sound haben. If you're driving in a very silent car, you may drive too fast because you think you're not driving the speed you're doing. But for the pedestrians, especially maybe for playing children, that are not very uh, focused on, on the traffic, but are focused on a, on a ball or on a play, other playing things, um, they do not recognize that there's a car coming if there isn't a noise that they can recognize. The new electric engine, especially in a very sportive car like an R8 e-tron, uh, is unknown. Nobody has ever heard it. So we wanted to design a sound that's very special, very emotional, very sporty, and that fits and matches uh, the car character, for example, the sporty design, the, the acceleration, and that was the biggest challenge we had. The first fact is, The homologation that we have now for the combustion engine uh, cars is the same for the electric cars. That means we have to fulfill the pass-by noise and that should be in the future the same. Uh, on the other hand, we have to look at the lower sound uh, uh, level. Uh, that means uh, the cars have to send out some, some noise um, to get a recognition by the pedestrians and um, this process is now started by the US uh, law and uh, will so we hope that this will be the same uh, all over the world so that we have one law that we have to fulfill.